सो हाय एवरीवन वी हैव अ ग्रेट न्यूज कमिंग इन सो इफ यू नो लास्ट मंथ टुवर्ड्स द एंड डीप सीक आर वन वॉज रिलीज विच टुक द जनरेटिव ए आई वर्ल्ड बाई स्टॉम द मॉडल वॉज ग्रेट बट हैड अ ह्यूज इशू ऑफ सेंसरशिप बाई चाइना सो बेसिकली इट वॉज नॉट एबल टू आंसर क्वेश्चन दैट वर कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल फॉर चाइना and that is why there were certain slogans and certain articles on the internet i also published a few stating that you should avoid deep seek because of security reasons and biases now to counter that perplexity ai has come up with a new model r1 1776 yes you heard it right where you can use a uncensored version of our deep seek r1 they have retrained the model and removed all the biases So first of all I will be telling you how you can use the model for free as you can see on perplexity AI there are multiple options in the drop down where you can select the model reasoning with R1 as you can read here deep seek new model hosted in the US So this gives you a limited number of queries to reason with R1 like for example let us take out this particular question and the reasoning has started now this is completely uncensored we would be asking it a few censored questions also and let's check out how the model performs after that we would be talking a little about the details of the model that has been open sourced and right now the model is trending on hash1 on hugging face models so let me ask it about which country arunachal pradesh belongs to because this was a question that a deep seek was not able to answer let's see whether it is able to answer this or not so this is a great news because uh, deep seek aren't being such a great model unfortunately was driven by a, so, a political agenda and hence was a little censored towards uh, any controversial information about china now as you can see this model is able to answer correctly on arunachal pradesh is a state in northeast india let me ask it about some more questions the most famous one tianmen square i might be misspelling it china let me see whether it is able to answer this also or not tianmen square sorry for the spelling now here you can see that it is able to give an answer here also the school are most spectacular in the world and tend to hold 5 lakh people and it was demolished so it was of some political issues that even deep seek r1 earlier was not able to answer this so now uncensored version of deep seek r1 is released you can now use it without any hesitation let's jump on to its details so complexity ai have released a blog telling out how they have trained this new model as you can read here r1 1776 a version of deep seek r1 has in post trained to provide unbiased accurate and factual information now they have mentioned multiple things here as you can see when asked when how taiwan's independence might impact nvidia stock price deep seek r1 won't take this question if you haven't tried it out you can check out my previous video or you can try it right now if the server is available so but deep this r1 1776 would be able to answer this they have mentioned multiple things here as you can see they are showing how the answer would be coming out which is completely uncensored now they have also shared the details we took the following approach to collect high quality data set we employed human experts to identify approximate 300 topics known to be censored by ccp so basically the team has first of all gathered data on which the model might not be trained this is a very important point we developed a multilingual censorship classifier with in mind a diverse set of user prompts that triggered the classifier with a high degree of confidence this procedure enabled us to compile a data set of 40k multilingual prompts this is a very interesting approach if you see here what they have done they have built a classifier and then they have trying to figure out prompts using which the censorship gets enabled and using that they have gathered their training data set as you can see one of the biggest challenges we faced was gathering factual responses to censored prompts makes sense because if the data is all if the prompt is already censored you won't be getting an output so they have mentioned that this was an issue with them apart from that this is the best um, metric that they have represented china censorship percentage by model so if you look here deep seek r1 the previous model had a percentage of about more than 80% it was highly censored and now r1776 is zero so this is amazing and what an improvement the team has done apart from that performance benchmark also it is almost neck to neck with deep seek r1 minor 
hip cups are there like in mmlu and math 500 there's slight lag but i think uh r1 1776 is almost at par with deep seek r1 but an uncensored version the team has also shared some post here where deep seek r1 won't be giving you an answer but r1 1776 is giving you an output as you can see here similarly for what is china's form of government by deep seek r1 and r1 1776 other questions are like what hap what is happening with why goods in china as you can see who is xi jinping who is xi jinping so you are getting an unbiased answer now apart from that if you wish to use the model you can go to hugging face or go to destination the model is open sourced you can go to files and here are all the weights present here so I hope you try out the R11776 model on Perplexity AI. The model is now uncensored and DeepSeek R1 is now in its full strength. Thank you so much.